Hello. So today we'll cover Body Linux 7. Body Linux is a Linux distribution that is based on Ubuntu. Specifically today it is based on Ubuntu 22 and features the Moksha desktop. As you can see behind me, this is the wallpaper and this is the Moksha desktop also behind me. It's very beautiful and we will we'll cover some of the things that has changed from Body Linux 6 to Body Linux 7. So to talk about the changes first, let us see the base changes. And if you notice here, the change is Ubuntu 22.04 instead of Ubuntu 20.04, the LTS, so it has changed. There are three versions that are available, the standard one, and the uh, HW uh, hardware enablement one and the S76 one. If you notice this, the first two, 5.15 and 5.19, they are they are behind Debian 12, which is at now at 6.1. But if you want more kernel or more updated version, you can go for S76, which goes for 6.2.6. .6. So there are three versions. I prefer the standard one. It is better for you. And since body is for low end hardware, it is better to use the standard one. A thing to note about body Linux is it is for low end PC. The target for the, their audience is low end PCs. And since it is based on Ubuntu, the the part where 32-bit system does not apply because Ubuntu, since Ubuntu 20, they have removed 32-bit support and came up with the 64-bit. So I think they will also have to release another version based on Debian of 32-bit. I, I, I think they will release it after, after a couple of months. The other thing is the EFL, it is the latest one, latest version for the EFL, Moksha.411. There is another thing in Ubuntu 22, it, it defines snaps if you want to install, let's say, Thunderbird or Firefox. They added the Firefox and the Thunderbird, they add them as PPA, so you can install Firefox and you can install Thunderbird. The other thing is there's also a PPA for NVIDIA Legacy. If you have a lower uh, and uh, NVIDIA card, you can also use the PPA for NVIDIA. And of course, the Ubuntu backports have been enabled in the source list. So this is the base things that have changed. Big changes have, have uh, occurred because they are, we are upgrading from Ubuntu 22, 22. As for the kernels, not much. But the thing that also is removal of snaps. So the body Linux does not offer snap support out of the box. You can install them, but they are not offered. They are totally removed. Same as Linux Mint. They are the same. The other thing we'll talk about is the software. So it comes with Chromium and Chromium comes from their repository. This means that sometimes maybe you will not get the highest the direct upgrade if you are using the ubuntu repositories but that's the way it is terminology it is the latest version that they, they, they have and they have a new slick greeter version 1.8.1 as for the other one web browser manager this one is a fork from zorin os this allows us to install like eight or ten browsers directly from a certain list and it is also very nice if you, in case you don't like Chromium and you want to add Brave or Pale Moon or Opera or the others. So that's basically it. Let us start with the installation. Let me remove this one and we'll go back here to installation. Okay, let me raise it a little bit. Okay, so the language, there are a lot of language support, so you can choose English. Let us put continue. English, English, no problem, continue. Here you can download updates while installing body and install third party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware. It is recommended to install these. 
the download updates and the install third party i will not install them but it is recommended to install them so that you will not update them later on let us go for continue here since i uh, i already installed the body linux beta i installed it before on this system and i need to install the newer one now so i don't want to install body alongside body 7 i have to erase the disk and install it again it's better for me so i erase the disk and i will start with the installation i'll put continue i have here directly put in new york it depends on your region it will put the name let us put it body 7 okay the password let me put a very bad password don't do that continue and it is now copying the files I let it copy the files I will restart my computer and we'll come back again okay so we restarted we look here this is the new Plymouth theme and if I want to go to the settings we can check all the settings that you need to change for example all the configuration are all in this settings panel I have already covered this one extensively in body Linux 6 I will also put a link for the description but what we'll do here we will cover only the things that are being added for body Linux 7 and we'll discuss them so first off let us go for terminology and we put you name and it tells me it is body 7 5.15 this is the standard one and for if I want to look for the RAM usage it is using 253.7 megabytes 250 megabyte RAM for this very beautiful operating desktop environment very nice another thing we we, we can talk about is if I right click you'll have the favorite apps you can put them here and the right click you can also get the menu that you have here if I want to look at the wallpaper you can come here you pick the wallpaper for example you put it for this desktop or for the other desktop what I mean is if I look for the backgrounds here there's nothing here let, let me go to up we go to the user share I, I think I don't think let me see if there is wallpaper here there's no wallpaper let's go for backgrounds backgrounds so it's only for this one so this one if you want it on these four you directly apply it will apply for all desktop if you want it for this desktop you can put it here apply so we this one has this one the second one is different so it's very easy to change each and every desktop the way you like the other one this one this fading you can also remove also in the setting you can also check how we can do it the main thing that we need to talk about or the enhancements that has been put is in the system tools uh, another thing I need to talk about is the Thunar file manager it's the same same thing and it is still on 4.16.10 it should be on 4.18 so they should have done a good job in this one at least they should have upgraded and the other thing let me talk about the application we have leafpad xarchiver preferences graphics internet we have chromium as I told you and this is the web browser manager let me open it if you notice we can you can install all these 10 any one of them you can install of course we talked about that this Firefox it will be installed as a PPA not as a snap sometimes I like Opera because it has VPN support you can have VPN support it is good if you if you need it there's also Chrome 
any one of them you can install and use it there is no problem the other thing we will talk about is so this is the internet these are all the same body app center this as we as we talked about is the one that if you want to install any program that you need these are the ones that sometimes they are provided by body it's not all of them if you want to install on any one of them you go for the synaptics for the applications you go for the synaptic package manager if you want to un uh, install more advanced topics the other thing for here if if you want let's say you want a chat client it gives you an uh, alternative email client for example it gives you close mail and thunderbird only if you need another one you can search for the synaptic package for it you go to the app to the synaptic package manager let me put the crazy password close here you can search for any application that you want for example let's say you need to update first let us check if uh, it has shortcut let us reload okay so we got shortcut so this is she uh, it found it found the shortcut you can search for any other let's say Kaden live and directly you pick it you mark for installation you mark and then you apply you can apply and you can install the program very easy to use synaptics not that hard and if you have a pro problem a program that is available here you can install it from here other than that this is the new one that is used web browser manager you can install to to recap this one body linux is a very minimal system with minimal applications so you have the chromium terminology tunar and also you have a photo these are only the ones that are installed if you want to install many others let's say you want to install LibreOffice or you want to install any other packages you can choose whichever package you like but these are the minimal one that comes with it maybe you need a music player MPV maybe you need that beef many other programs you need you have to install them yourself either by if it is available in the app center in body linux or in the synaptic package manager or also of course because it is ubuntu we can install it through the terminal so that's it for body linux 7 it is very interesting i'm very excited to cover it and hard testing it to form for my liking it is very good very powerful very responsive very light and I highly recommend it. Thank you guys and we will be back with another video.